Hey there everybody and welcome to another Pixel for Life video tutorial. In the last video we started to do the HTML for this template right here and we ended with this. I know it's beautiful. Try to control yourself. So in this one we're going to stylize this top portion of the website and then we will move on to the bottom section. So this is our code that we left off with. One thing that we forgot is to give this a banner wrapper. So in here, I'm going to just do div the ID of banner wrapper. And what this is going to do is center all of the content within this banner. I know I spoke about it, but I don't think I did it for some reason. So we're just going to add it now real quick. So we're just banner wrapper. And then after banner image, we're going to paste in there and just add in this comment of banner wrapper ends. And let's make this neater. Very nice. Save that. And then we can go over to our styles.css over here. And let's just delete all that because we don't need that. That was just for showing what we were doing. So to start off, we're going to start off with body. And we're going to specify the font. So font family. And it's going to be Helvetica. Then Arial. And then the last resort of Sans Serif. Okay. Lovely, you're doing good. Alright, so in this next part we're going to do the nav uh, the navigation bar. So let's do a little comment of the navigation bar. And then nav ends. Perfect. Okay, so in this we're going to start off with the navigation background. So we're going to want to do navigation BG. And then we're going to give it a border of um, let's see border top it's going to be one pixel solid and it's going to be this dark blue I think this is so it's 69 or 6b9 5b e e okay and then we're going to give it a border bottom and not hoarder <laughs> thanks for pointing that out for me border bottom is going to be one pixel solid and then it's going to be this I think it's a lighter blue if I remember correctly 3e 6b and let me just show you what this is um, above here there's a slight line above it and then below here there's another slight line as you can see it kinda of looks like there's some depth right there we're gonna do the bottom border of a dark blue and then the top border for this blue content is going to be a lighter blue so it gives it that depth appearance so inside of that we're going to give it a uh, width of a hundred percent so then it scales with the width of the browser and then we're going to give it a background color of just a solid blue one eight five nine nine a okay and then we're going to do overflow hidden and what that's going to do is make sure that the div gets pushed to the bottom of uh, our list items inside of here sometimes if you don't have overflow hidden it will snap to the top and act like there's nothing inside of it so it's a bit of a hack I guess so let's refresh this and see what we got looking fancy and it's a little too tall because we haven't stylized the list items yet. So now that we have that, let's move on to the UL navigation. And if you remember, that houses all of this right here. So we're going to do UL navigation. We're going to give it a fixed width of 930 pixels. And then we're not going to give it a height. We're going to do margin zero auto that way it's centered within the browser and if you refresh you can see that's centered perfect alright so now that you have that we can stylize a little bit further and it's going to be these list items so we're going to do ul navigation li and here we're going to give it a height of 50 pixels we're going to tell it to float left uh, we're going to give it a line height equal to our normal height. 
and what that's going to do is or here let, let's not, let's not put this yet and I'll show you so if we refresh this we can see this text is slapping the top of the browser and with this line height that equals our li height it should fix it and make it perfectly centered that one will cost you a dollar all right so now we're going to give it a margin right of 25 pixels and that should just space out these li items just like that okay so now that we have that we can see that there's no stylizing of these of this text and we can't do that within this li because they are anchor items so we have to create another li navigation li and then we're gonna have to add a so on this we're gonna give it that color and we're gonna make it white and then we're gonna do font size 15 pixels Font weight and that's going to be bold and then we're going to want text decoration of none and that's going to remove the underline so if we save that and refresh here you can see it's looking fancy and let's just space this out so you can see it a bit better all right so now we want to have a hover item because right now if you hover over it you can't you can't tell so what we're going to do is do ul navigation lia hover simple as that and then for that we're going to do color and the color is going to be a light blue so it is um, aa eaff and then we're going to make sure there's no underline when you hover over it so again, text decoration, or actually we want to underline, sorry. So we're going to add an underline when you hover over it. So over here, we took off the text decoration, and we're going to add it when you hover over. So let's save that, refresh, and perfect. Very nice. So let's add, uh, let's do the logo. As you can see, there's a little logo right here. So for that, we're going to do li.logo because we specified this one we gave it a special class before so let's do li logo and then for that we're going to do width 290 pixels height 35 pixels and then display it block now let's just make sure that uh, that's correct let's find where our logo is top logo and it looks like we did it differently than I anticipated. Uh, this is just the little, uh, just a little drop for it. So okay, we'll work with that. So let's go back to our index.html, and inside of this a, here we're gonna do sample logo title or sample logo. And let's refresh and see what that looks like. Alright, so um, let's go back to our styles. And then in here, we're going to do background URL images. Or actually, we need dot dot slash because our CSS is in a separate folder. So if we were to put just images, it would be looking for images within the CSS folder. So to make sure it doesn't do that, we do dot dot slash. We're going to do images and it's top underscore logo dot png and we want to make sure it does not repeat so let's uh, see what we just did there as you can see we have the logo so what we want to do is uh, let's see what the dimensions for this is the width is 25 pixels so let's give it a margin right of 25 pixels refresh and that didn't work and I'm running out of time so in the next section we will finish up this navigation bar and then work on the blue content bar this right here and then we'll work on the HTML to finish this off so thanks for watching and once again be sure to check out the next part see you later